right, here we go. It's Thursday, September. It's Wednesday or Thursday? I think it's Thursday. It's Thursday. And see, that's how that's how it is in this business. Every day is almost like the same day. I mean, I feel like it's Saturday and Friday to me every day. That's just because we putting in the time. We getting up at 5, we getting up at 4, and we going straight to work. And we finishing up at 12 to 1. But that's the life that we choose. That's the life that we want to live. And this is just a little part of me. So I'm about to go to work. It's, I mean, it's, it's about 2 o'clock. So really, we still we still basically getting wound it up. And now that the school year started, it kind of slowed up in the daytime. As far as his work ethic, I think it speaks for itself. I mean, you can see like, um, he dedicated, very dedicated. But what we gonna do is we gonna come back to this joint later. This, this Melly moves or whatever. That's where we operate, that's where we do everything. We was the first, first pizza parlor on the parkway doing pizza. This is a brick oven right here. This is the boring part. I'm gonna show you, this This the business part right here. This is the brick oven. You put some logs in there and you flame it up. You get fresh, fresh pizza. And it's crazy because so many people think it's a fraud. But look, we got logs inside this joint. And on top of it, we got the dust to say that we was, <laughs> we got the dust. Just to say we was going here and we was frying pieces in this gym. Um, I see that cooking is one of his passions. He got a lot of passion. That's him. Hey, how you doing? This is Sean Grimes and Melly Moe's Brick Oven Pizzeria. The only Brick Oven Pizzeria at Real Talk in West Philadelphia. Um, we making everything fresh, everything fast and quick to go. And we doing things out of the ordinary. We got a uh, mobile brick oven right here. We take that on events. As a matter of fact, we got an event on Friday. No matter of fact, Saturday, September the 24th uh, for the, at the Wells Fargo Center, the Thrill Show. But that's just one of the things we get ourselves into and we're going to be getting ourselves into. We're going to be doing a lot of uh, black activist movements, um, a lot of things for the youth, independent parents. And, and one of the main reasons why I, I wanted to get into, say, the, a pizza shop is basically so I can help the community, so I can try to say get in tech with the, with the youth, get in tech even with the elderly people, and show them some things they may not have seen in their past years, or even show to say the youth some things that that they that they want to learn or they want to see. So my idea basically for, uh, for Melly Moe's really wasn't it wasn't like something I, I sat on for years. It was something that kind of like just came to me. Like my mom passed in uh, January 2010. Her nickname was Melly Mo. So I had got that tatted on me from the, like as soon as she passed. That's what I got tatted on me. Rest in peace, Melly Mo. I see that like his mom really drives him. You know what I'm saying him and his mom, they had to be hella tight, like real tight, because he got a love for us. You know, that's second to none. I mean, like and do some of the things he did. Like I just watch him. You know what I'm saying like. That's my boy, that's my friend, that's my bro. Uh, I don't know, like what he did with this is a start, you know, but he set a foundation and he set and he set a mark, like, you know, so all he, all I see him doing now is just like trying to beat his last mark. Like this was one mark, now he's trying to franchise it. So that's another goal he's setting. And and he reaching all his goals, that's respectable, you know what I'm saying? I commend that. So like, he got his heart in it, that's my bro. I'm gonna rock with him to the fullest. He's a boy, exactly, right? Catch me on a cute day. <laughs> but look, this is what we about to do. Since we slow, we got the delivery vehicle. We about to rock out, we about to do some special things. I'm about to go to the crib, change my clothes real quick. This dude right here, he, he own horses. And the one thing he want Melly Moe's to do, he want us to go ahead and sponsor his horses. But the only thing with, with, with sponsoring his horses is this is a childhood friend. And this is like seriously on some business business because he chose to go the different route. Like I like girls, he like boys. So I mean, his demeanor is different. So whenever I deal with him, it's like I'm dealing with another female, but a, a man. So it's kind of it's kind of rocky for me because it's the first like, Real business, I deal with somebody on that level. But then in the same hand. He's still a friend, child. 
Yeah, he's still a friend. I ain't gonna try to disrespect him, but he been trying to get in contact with me for like for the past week. So I know when he when I when I call him, he gonna trash me. Watch. This the bull. Matter of fact, we seen riding the cookies and cream pony. Oh, that's, oh okay. that's him. <laughs> you was like, what's up? Yeah, he was like, what's up? He had white pants on, black <laughs> boots, leather boots. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we get voicemail. And that, and that was forward. That was forward nation. I'm going to definitely try and link this business back up because he probably think it was on some fraud shit. I was, uh, I was working for an elevator company, this crap elevator. And I uh, left that and came into Melly Moves. But me leading up to this, it wasn't just like I started, like rent just jumped into a pizza shop. I was in the uh, food business for say six, seven years. Ever since I graduated high school, I jumped into uh, the hut up at uh, King of Pressure, 404 Crooked Lane. Start working there. Start doing five to two, get my body right. It took a while for me to get straight, but I was on, I was on point. Waking up at four, leaving at four, going to sleep at three, still doing the same thing I'm doing now. So, I mean, I always like to have fun, always do parties, always dance, always did poetry, could speak so many different languages, it's ridiculous. I just choose not to because we're in America right now. But when I go to China or I go to, or I go to Brazil or something, I'm definitely gonna speak something sexy. But that's just one of the things, like this is one of the things that got me where I'm at, is my personality. It definitely opened doors for me. It definitely uh, helped me out. But I think one of the, one of the big things that, I de that definitely gives me the drive is, is my mom not being here. Because they go ahead and that, that push me, that make me want to please her, that make me want to do things to, 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 to make sure that when I get there, when I get to where she at, I'm going to be welcome with open doors. So I mean, all this stuff we doing right now, this is this is really, this is playtime. Because when we done, we're going we gonna to look back on life and say, you know what, damn, Shiz did it. He had a, a bunch of Melly Moe's all over the place. And it's not even a money factor, it's the fact that people are going to be saying Melly Moe's for as long as we do this, for as long as we work, for as long as we stay energetic and positive. Because to me, it's not about the money, it's not about the recognition, it's about my mom, real talk. Melly Mo, it's about her spirit living on. And people tasting something different. I mean, we got different cooks back here, we got different personnel, we doing different things. We not just the ordinary pizza shop where we putting dough through the roller and rolling it out and throwing it in the oven. So. This Melly Moves, her dream was basically to open up a chain of uh, daycares called Eminem Child Care Development. Mm -hmm. So instead of, instead of her doing that, when she passed, I went on, was like, you know what, let me open up some restaurants. Let me go ahead and keep her legacy a little more. So me and my grandma moved out here, like, let me say, like, three months ago just to get us on a, on a more business-minded aspect. Because if you got somewhere nice, like, say, lay your head somewhere. Nice to go ahead and rest. Mm -hmm. You're not going to want to really come home because you're going to find yourself always falling asleep like I do. Mm -hmm. 200 threads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 200 <laughs> threads make you go to sleep real tight. So I try to keep it in my room as simple as shit just because I don't have the time. And mm -hmm. I'm in here showing my room simple because I've been here for three months and I don't have the time. That's because. I got all my, my heart into this. I got everything in this. And, it's, and it's, I'm only doing it really for my mom. I'm not, I'm not doing it for money. I'm not doing it for recognition. Team, I'm doing it so my mom's spirit can live on. I'm doing it so that people are constantly say her name. And so that my family will be able to, to branch on to something. So that my friends will be able to branch on to something. It'll be an organization. It'll be money being made within and money being made externally, internally. So. This is definitely a roller coaster ride because you go through up and down. You go through different personalities, you go through different situations, different financial situations, different personal situations. Then you go through frauds, you go through liars, you go through cheats, loyalty problems. So it's definitely a lot of stuff you gotta try to withhold and try to make sure your spirit is up kept. Because a lot of people look up to you, make sure that you always on your game. You mm -hmm. always got a smile on your face. Because if you don't, people don't want to know why. Why you don't have a smile on your face? 
Keep it 100 at the end of that note, because that's what my mom always did. She kept it 100. She never frauded, and she always kept the story 100. She never drove off the road. She always kept it straight lane. I think Shiz, he a cool guy, you know. I, 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 I think I grew up a little bit around him. We went to the same school together. Like, from what I heard about him, he, he really know, he about his money, he about his bread, you know. He got his little business over here. Melly Moves, you know, watch out for the Eagle Boys. I mean, we don't have a conventional oven. We got a, a, a handmade brick oven right here. You throw fire, you throw wood in, and that shit get up to a thousand degrees, and then you got a brick oven in the back that's straight aluminum. You sit somebody's hand on it, it's burning their whole skin shelf off. Hey, what's up, y'all? Melly Moves. I mean, a little bit, we're gonna take a little tour of the shop. But then one of the other things we incorporated with is Eagle Boy's MGMT. Eagle I mean, that, Boy. that thing right there, I mean, we do so much secret secret stuff. We got um, Eagle Boy's Films, Willie Cash, director, president of Eagle Boy's Films. He definitely doing his thing. Big ups to Willie Cash. We got Flash on the advertisement. We got Charlie straight, he just straight certified to cook. He, he the legal man. He know how to, uh, he the one where you put some chicken next to the steak. He gonna be like, yo, cuz, we gonna have to throw that shit out cause somebody gonna get sick. But that's what Charlie do around right here. And then we got, right now, I'm just saying the people that's in the, in the, in the interviewing room. Then we got little uh, Ose Osa selling $6 Kit Kats, $6 Snickers. And then we got Leek over there. She spelled her L's looking like Z, so for like three weeks I was calling her Z. <laughs> so I mean, we definitely on deck. But then we got the Banana Nut Queen. <laughs> Push Cheesecake Man out of the business. Niggas don't even say cheesecake in this joint no more. Definitely on deck, so, I mean, we definitely having fun. I know I'm having fun. I'm tired right now. Look at my eyes, I'm super tired. I ain't gonna sleep till like 4.30. But the one thing I did today was I ain't complain, because this is what I chose to do. I chose to do this. I chose not to go to sleep. I chose to open a pizza shop. I chose to go to the hood at 5 o'clock. I mean, everything I'm doing right now, I chose to do. And there's nothing I'm complaining about. And if I'm stressed out, you will never see it on my face. Because you're not supposed to. So, and that's one of the things my mom told me, too. It's like, whatever go on in the house, stays in the house. Nobody should ever be able to see what's, what's, what's going on in your house and your facial expression. One love, peace and blessings. Como estas? And... Melly Moe, yeah, Melly Moe's on deck. Special. We got madness on deck. But we definitely do got the madness. Everything, everything. Capture the camera, I work here too. We got Flash over here if you want to be seen. So we definitely got it. Our whole squad over here, you know what I'm saying? People work. It's a magnet right there for your refrigerator. You can hook it up. Melly Moe's. I wish we was oh, dancing right. in this draw. I swear to God. Bring it up. Then we about to show y'all what we do. Back the camera up, bro. Cause I'm about to get loose. Yeah.